I've made a lot of videos. I've talked about different things. Try to be open. It's been a very strange start to the year in just this near two months. But I mean, I guess that's two out of 12. That's one sixth of the way there. So maybe that's, I mean, if it starts off horribly, maybe it's, that's a good, I mean, I don't know if I could possibly It'd be weird to say that could be a good way to start, but there's still 10 months left, I guess. So, you know what's interesting is like horrible as just like bizarre, hurtful that different points of this, uh, of this first two months has been. There is, there is beauty in the, in these two months as well. Um, I went to, like, I stopped into a karaoke thing at a, accidentally stumbled upon a karaoke thing at a hotel and was there for that, kind of participated in that. But um, there's a woman there that just kept jamming to Descendants music, like, not in the karaoke, but just, like, maybe after karaoke was done or... I don't know if it was still going on. It might have been done, but either way, she was she was like listening to Descendants music, and I've I'd seen the first Descendants back in like 2015 or 2016 or something, and just off of her, like I guess an interest was stirred, and when I went back to like the people that I mainly stay with. Um, and they have Disney Plus. I got a, on a Descendants kick, and I've I've watched Descendants. There's three of them, and I've watched Descendants the way that I used to watch movies when I was young, where I would where I like rewatch it. And I guess part of that is because one of the times that I watched the second one, because there was a time that I watched the second one that it was interrupted. Or there was just, like, noise going on. And there's a time that I watched the third one that there was noise going on. So I ended up watching them again for that reason. But even again from that, like, even on my birthday um, earlier this month, I watched one of the Descendants movies. Like, so that's something. Um, went on my first date, like, first official date ever this this year, even though... Some weirdness happened with that, too. Um, joined the Fargo Invaders again, and I'm playing. going to try to play defense this time, and that's, like, where I think I might be able to let my beast out. Granted, there's, there's still, I've learned from the first practice that there is still some, um, I may not be able to escape um, certain things, that like I fear or like or that I struggle with that was kind of on O-line but nevertheless um, still this is getting to be in a position that I want even though it was cool being with O-line in as much as the people that I was with um, I think I might even be able to have the jersey that I, I think I originally wanted two years ago as an O-line person. 
if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Um, what else? Oh, the theaters after Valentine's Day, there is like $1 candy at the theaters. There's been $1 movies since like the end of last year, but for last week or something like that, like essentially the week following Valentine's Day, there's dollar candy. So that was cool. Dollar candy at movie theaters. That ish isn't normal. So, um,. Um, reading the Satan, the Satanic Bible has been interesting. Um, so that's new um, exposure development. That's something that I would normally be like would be aversive to me, but like there's good points that he makes. He doesn't he doesn't carry all the truth. <laughs> But he really has some good points. So that start started reading that this year. Um, is there anything else beautiful that's happened this year? That's actually not that much <laughs> compared to the the bad. Is there anything else good? Oh, true heartfeltization, the openness that I landed on at one point in that series, that was this year, that was special. Oh, that I was able to uh, to watch Cobra Kai, where I, where I envisioned in my mind after doing that adult ninja challenge of being out in the cold for a month, and then staying at... Um, this dude's place um he didn't have internet but before the month ended he did so i was able to um kind of fulfill that vision that i had in my head thanks to god because that's how i process it process it um thanks to god um i'm like the last day of the month so that counts for me like just the way I envisioned it in my mind. So that's that's cool. Hanging out with uh, Melby, watching movies like Tuesdays and um, Oh, and Persona 5, watching him play Persona 5 and just kind of learning about that. That was cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm 30 now. I thought with all the foundation, like, journey or just foundational development that happened last year that hitting 30 wouldn't be a problem because I had something meaningful happen. But I, I guess I still am struggling with the 30 thing.
And it's but granted it's not like I'm practicing those fist styles and like keeping them alive. Maybe that would have helped. I'm 30. Hopefully I'm still being honest and open. What does true honesty and openness look like? Well, I guess I kind of did it at the beginning of the True Heartfeltization series, but... <laughs> 